Hey folks, we're in the barn here. Just wanted to show you this. This is, of course the camera doesn't see it. This is a remote control LED sitting inside one of these uh, Hammond 1590 boxes. And it's powered by a really ridiculous set of 18650s, which I put together. Um, this thing is a LM, what is it, LM3909 LED flasher. And this is my very weak signal reference. I have a, a, a hole in the side so I can put a um, series resistor potentiometer in series with this LED. So I am at its lowest setting right now and I leave it that way. And it sits here, it'll run for months on this because it, it's, I don't know, a milliamp or two of current being drawn. So it's really, really efficient. And with all that power there, it'll run for about a month. The point is, it's a reference source that I use for comparing lenses and photodiodes and things like that. So this is what I'm using. That, excuse me, oof, that window that you see right there is the lab. So now we'll go and do a quick um, comparison between the lens I used yesterday for the last video and also a 10 inch Fresnel lens. And we'll see what the difference is based on this weak signal source here. Okay, we're in the lab. Real quick, here's the uh, lens I used yesterday for that 2,000 foot run, 1,900 feet. And here is, let's get a better look at it, a 10 inch, um, I think it's about 10 inches Fresnel lens. And so what's the difference? And it's using the exact same diode. Okay, just sitting there on a little wooden pole. Same exact diode as this one. Okay, so now we'll do the comparison. Another quick note, something to mention here. We're in the middle of daylight and we're in the middle of the shop with the lights on. But I wanted to say that this aperture is I don't know, five inches, something like that. And it fits through that opening just fine. This aperture is 10 inches and some of, and it's being overlapped by some of the window itself. So this is not really a perfect free space um, test. This, this lens is at a disadvantage. All right, so we're gonna try to do a screen recording here. Let me uh, stop this. We'll go right back to the beginning. We'll open up the file. <clears throat> I had to do it in an IQ. So anyway, here's a, a signal. Okay, that's the uh, small LED micro source out there. And that's using the uh, five inch lens. And um, so you can see it's about an S7 or so, and, he, and identical photodiodes in both of, on both these lenses. And the next thing we're going to switch to is we're going to switch to the uh, Fresnel lens here coming up. Okay, so I disconnected, and now I'm reconnecting the uh, the other lens assembly. And you can see it's up as up as high as an S9 or so here. So with that being shown here i'm going to use the uh, signal history uh, it's in view signal history as a better way of showing this uh, i'm also going to show i'm also going to adjust this so that uh, the, the low so you can really get an idea of what's going on here so if you follow this line right here we are at about a minus 86 and here we're at about a minus 75, almost as high as a minus 74. Now what's that variation? Well, looks like I pulled the plug here uh, and I'm switching back. 
uh, that variation is, is just variations in signal strength across that 150-foot, uh, 175 foot path. Uh, whether it's from uh, you know, moisture in the air or, or smoke in the air, my neighbor has this wood stove going, I don't know. Uh, but there are variations and they occur on both lenses So um, at the same time. Okay, so now we're back over here to a minus 84 or so, eh, you know, look, you have to kind of look at this as an average. I've stretched this out so you can see this in 1 dB increments. So look at the uh, variation over time here. Um, it's about a, a dB. Um, and it's on a tiny, tiny short path. So I think I'm going to switch it back here in a second. Um, Yep, looks like I, I dropped the carrier here, or uh, changing from lens A, whoop. And I reconnected it, and I think I reconnected the wrong one. Uh, I can reconnected the same one again. So let's uh, hold on a couple of seconds here. Okay, dropped it again. And now we'll come back to the other lens, the 10 inch Fresnel lens. And I'm doing this with SMA connectors, um, so it's, I'm, it takes me a little while to get one thing undone and the other thing done and and then I make a mistake like this and I hook the original one back up again so I drop it again and hopefully this time there we go uh, so end result is this the lens that I used on that 1900 foot path uh, with the single LED it produces like a minus 85 um, and here we are at a minus 75. And I dropped it again and switched it back, I guess. I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm voicing over this. Um, so I don't kind of, I'm at a disadvantage. But you can see that there is at least a 85 to 75, at least a 10 dB difference in that Fresnel lens. And again, that Fresnel lens is at a disadvantage because it's partially obstructed by the window. Um, the opening is not big enough to allow that lens to see the entire field of view. Uh, and you can see here, on, even on a small lens, there's different, you know, the, 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 um, the path changes. Occurs on both of these. So I think what I'm going to do here is stop talking and uh, let this run out. Uh, hopefully it'll go back to the uh, the other lens. Yep, I think here's where I change it. Yep, there it is. I'm going to stop talking here and just let you watch the, uh, if you care to, watch the path change um, over time. Thank you. W1VLF out.